everyone welcome to today's video uh, today's video is a haul and it's um it's a haul a little bit different because it's um it's things that i bought whilst i was on holiday in italy um as you all know i was recently there and um yes i the things that I bought do um the shops that I bought from in Italy do ship internationally. So um I will leave links where I can to the shops, you know, the like non affiliate links. So I will leave the links there um in case you like anything, you know, and you want to have a look yourself or you want to purchase it yourself. Um yes, I you know, we went on holiday. I know guys I didn't tell you about it because it was very last minute. Uh we really David had been asking me, you know, and saying, Do you fancy going on holiday? And I was like, mm, not really, we've got loads to do because as you all know, we're still doing Emma's house, you know, and we're nearing an end to that, um, at least internally, you know, the inside of the house. We've got the allotment, there's the caravan, you know, on top of like other commitments and well, honestly, it just, it can get overwhelming, can't it? So, um, David was feeling a bit overwhelmed, bless him. So he wanted to go on holiday and I agreed, you know, to, to, to give it a rest. And But do you know what, guys? We didn't get much rest while we were there because we were sightseeing quite a bit. And um, we went to Pompeii. Uh, oh, my gosh, what an experience, guys, honestly. It was such a, like, a... a once in a lifetime kind of opportunity you know for me uh, because I'm, I'm i love history you know i love like ancient civilizations as well and it, it was just a dream come true for me guys and now uh, we spent two days in pompeia and we spent a, a, a day in herculaneum as well so um i've not included any footage of that because uh, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, you know, so I thought I'd ask you first to see if you were interested in seeing that type of video, you know, uh, um, it would be a bit more informative, you know, and ensure you're around per Pompeii and Herculaneum. So please let me know if, you, if you'd like to see that, you know, because if you're not interested, <laughs> I'll just not do the video. Um, anyway, today's video, back into it. Yes, where I bought on holiday. Let me jump in. Um absolutely love this shop i do have you know quite often a few of you have asked like where i get things like certain dresses or jewelry and i've said i've picked them up whilst i've been on holiday and antica satoria is like one of the shops that i absolutely love it was um founded in positano which was one of the places we visited on holiday so um you know i just yeah i was in my element basically it's really boho hippie kind of look for Antica Satoria, very sort of islandy look, you know. Anyway, yes, I bought this necklace and it's a lovely like tiered necklace, can you see it? It's got these tiny like little leaves on. I hope the camera picks that up. I'll just put my hand there so it doesn't focus on my face. Yeah, it's got these like little leaf um embellishments to it but it's like a tiered style i absolutely love it it's quite a chunky necklace so it's it's a bit of a statement piece guys i will put it on you know um I'll, I'll have a picture here so you can see where it's like on but it's absolutely lovely i paid eight euro for this so it i can't really convert it because it depends on the you know the exchange rates on 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 the deer you know but um it's it's certainly not eight pound it was eight euro um so i think at the time it was around about seven pound maybe six seven pound i'm really not sure you know as i say the interest rates change on a daily basis but um yeah so i got that one and um, my next item again it was from should we do the Antica Satoria first? I tell you what, that's what I'm going to do. I'll do the Antica Satoria first, and then um, and then I'll show you what I bought in the other shops. Um, I'll just move them those out of there. I bought this lovely dress. It's a beautiful pink dress. Pink's not really a colour I go for, um, but I was I was really drawn to this, especially by the price because it was reduced. <laughs> and I thought, oh, I, li I like any sale item, you know. Everyone loves a sale item, don't they? It was reduced um, from €48 Euro to €25. Euro. But I'll show you what it's like. It's this little, little dress. It's not a little dress. It's a lovely dress, though. 
it's um, this one. It's a pink one. And look at the embellishments here, all the sequences and the beadwork. Absolutely love it. It's got these lovely pom-poms here. Now, the reason why it was reduced was, if you notice, there's a pom-pom missing there. But what I'm going to do is, you know, I took down in here, there's a pom-pom. So I'm just going to take that one off and pop it up there in the place. So, you know, that sorts that bit out. But this is a dress here. Got a nice elastication here. And the sleeves are just beautiful, guys. These are the sleeves. Absolutely stunning they are. Um, it drops down. It's really, really long, you know, as you can see. But it's got, you know, the um, tiered effect with the pom-poms and we'll go further down to the next here and as you can see it's got like a lovely fringe here and it goes all the way around the back of the dress so because I, I don't like that you know when the design's just on the front and with a lot of these like Chinese companies and um, they will not have the um, detail on the back of them you know and just on the front of them and um, I get approached like Oh, almost daily, you know, by clothing um, companies, you know, wanting me to do sort of send me stuff, you know, and do collabs and things. But, um, yeah, you know, I just, yeah, sometimes or time I will agree, you know, um, to do one. But mainly the clothing that I do show on my channel is usually clothing that I've bought, you know, from shops like we all shop in sort of supermarket shops, you know, in Matalan and places like that. But anyway, this this dress here, and this was in a sale. Um, so I'm not sure whether this one will be on the website, but there will be something similar, you know, if it's not. And as I said, this was... Um, 48 euro reduced to 25 euro what I'll do guys um, I'm going to put in a picture you know either here or at the end so you can see what it looks like on and um, if I can I'll definitely link the website if I can see this dress I will link this one if not I'll try and link similar so that was that dress I think it's oh it's beautiful guys I really really do like like it I mean if um Antique Satoria just is the perfect brand for me. You know, could, this isn't affiliated, you know, they don't know me from Adam, but I just, it just sums me up. It really does. It's like, because she's on more, my most preferred look is like a boho gypsy look. Um, and that's what this brand is all about hippie boho gypsy look. You know, I'm going to show you these next. It's, um, it's some necklaces. I think they're gorgeous. This is their Mia. It's like, it's huge, can you see? And it's like, it reminds me of coral. I'll come closer so you can see it. Can you see? It reminds me of coral. And it's got little shells on the ends here. And you double this up. Um, I'll, show, I'll show a clip of it, you know, of it on. But it doubles up and it gives like a really sort of nice, oh, it's gorgeous. It really is gorgeous, guys. Um, I paid... What did I pay for this? Um, I think this one was six euro. Yes, this one was six euro for this like white coral effect necklace. And I did pick it up in a gold colour as well. I'll show you it in the gold. That's it in the gold. And it's got the little shells. It's It's stunning. It really is. It's... You know, it doesn't look stunning as it is, like right now. But I think it is a really, really nice statement piece necklace. And that's it there. You know, all kind of together, like folded, folded, doubled, doubled. <laughs> that's it there. It's 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 lovely. And the gold is going to go off with, well, both of them will go with quite a few outfits. You know, I could even wear this one. With this dress I've got on today. Or alternatively this one as well I guess will go. But you know what? I was like playing around with it. And um, I thought. You know what? You could have this as a belt. You know. You could easily have it like that. You know. I mean you would have to tie. Sort of ribbon. I would tie like ribbon on either end. And then I would have it like that. It's, a, it's like a, 
a belt. <laughs> but yeah, that's another way you could wear it. Um, moving on. Again, still Antigua Satoria. Oops, I'm dropping things everywhere. Um, I did pick up this dress. Now, you'll have probably seen this dress if you'd watched my other video. Um, oops. <laughs> Stay there. If you watch my... <laughs> and going everywhere guys <laughs> sorry um, you'll have seen this dress because I was saying do you, ever, do you think it's too short mind I agree it's too short it really is to wear as a dress even though I'm short I'm only 5 foot 2 um, it, it is short but I'm, I'm not going to wear it as a dress I'm, I'm wearing it more as a long top so this is it here um, it's got can you see um it's elasticated here at the you know the neck it's got these ties here that you can alter and they've got like tassels on the end there lovely it's got the arm here the detail look at that lace and the fringing and the pom-poms it's just beautiful really beautiful and then it's got this cut out bit here which is a uh, lace at the waist and then it goes down into this ruffle and again you've got all of this going on you know the lace and the fringe and the the tassels the pom-poms it's lovely it really is i do i do have dresses similar which i've picked up like on holiday in the past but um i just couldn't resist it guys you know where i'm like for a bargain and um this one was it had been reduced. It was only fifteen euro. Yeah, so you know, reduced from um, what did I say? Reduced from thirty six euro to fifteen euro. I thought that was brilliant. So I'd put a clip in if like how I would be wearing this. You know, um, so you'll see the clip after this. My next dress, guys. Okay, it was a bit of a splurge. This one, um. But I first tried it on when we went to Capri, like Capri Island, tried it on, absolutely loved it. And it was €129 Euro and I was like, oh, that's expensive, you know, for, for a dress. And then I tried it on again in Positano and then we went along and I left it, you know, I was like, no, no, it's too expensive. And then I tried, I saw it again in, in um, Amalfi when we went over to, like onto Amalfi. And I had a look and it had <laughs> reduced it to 125 euro. So it was four euro cheaper. And I sent it to you. I thought, you know what? I'll get back home and I'll be, I should have got that dress. You know, and then he would say, oh, well, you can still order it because the, the ship internationally. But then you've got the shipping, you know, and, and, and I just convinced myself, I really did, that I should buy this dress. So I did. <laughs> and I was on holiday. So I um yeah i'll show you it oh guys it's beautiful it is i would say this is one of the most beautiful dresses i've ever saw yeah i think if you were getting married you know and having like a beach kind of wedding this dress would be perfect absolutely craggy yeah absolutely perfect for a beach wedding but this is it here oh it's stunning it really is stunning so you've got the embellishments here of all of the um, sequences and the little stones, like st sewn on, um, it comes down. You've got this cut out, this insert of lace here. It's lovely. It's one size fits all on these dresses, um, if you were wondering. So it drops down again into tears. So you've got the pom poms here. You've got the, you know, the, the tassel effect here then some other kind of tassels here yeah and then it drops down into these this tier with these like lovely tassels oh it's it's beautiful it's um i'll show you the back so the back is you know got a big deep v in the back but it's got this tie detail here and these tassels that hang down at the back and guys wait until you see the sleeves honestly they are beautiful the these are the sleeves so the kind of bell out, you know, into this kind of bell-like sleeve. And look at it. Look at all the detail on that sleeve. It is just beautiful. This dress just, it just sums me up, I guess. 
<laughs> hey, it's beautiful, honestly. Um, I paid, as I say, 125 euro for this. And I've just looked on my card um, for the like UK price, where, where it would have been at the trans the rate when I bought it. And it, it was £110 for this dress. So, yes, it is a splurge. But it's the type of dress. Because it's one size. So, you know, you're going to have it. I'm going to have it forever. You know, and it's... It's just beautiful. It really is, guys. I just convinced myself to buy it. <laughs> yes, guys, I'll fit a picture in here somewhere, you know, of what this looks like on, just to give you some idea, you know. And for those of you who don't know, I'm a size um, 18 to 20, UK 18 to 20, big busted, um, and in short, I'm only 5 foot 2, so I do struggle you know, um, I've just come to terms with it and like everything's going to be long if I don't alter it. But um, yes, so that was the Antica Satoria things. But I want to move on and show you what else I got because it leaves brilliant for like leather goods, you know, like leather bags, leather belts, things like that, wallets. And um, I went in a lovely leather shop, uh, which I will link down below as well. I'll put a link so in case you wanted to buy anything. Um, again, <laughs> they're not affiliate. So I picked up this bag and I brought one back you know for Emma as well and this is it here it's just a, a camera bag it's like in a cream colour like a creamy stone colour and it's got the zip here you know with the, the tassel I just thought this was like a really good casual grab bag you know if you're dressing down or you've got like um well casual wear on really um, there's one of my lists I've been using this bag I thought I'd emptied it but um, that, that's it there it's got this tassel in this pocket so you can pop your mobile phone in there it's handy to get at and it's just like one big compartment in there just to, to throw all your bits in and it's got like a little zipped compartment here to keep anything in and it's um, genuine leather made in Italy I'll just try and show you the tag if I can Oh, let's, I don't know if it's picking it up, guys, but that, that's the tag there. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a nice, like, quick little bag to grab, you know, if you're on the run, if you're on the go, and you're just popping out of the shop. You know, you could even use this for a night out, you know. It's like, it's a really, really versatile bag, actually. So this was um, 39 euro, 39 what was it? 39 euro 90. So that's what that was for that one. But I thought that was really nice. Um, it does have the long strap, you know, the shoulder strap, which you can have cross body, which I like. So probably really good for holidays. I do have another one. I'm looking for it. I found it. <laughs> it's, um, I mean, I haven't used this one, but it comes in like a dust bag. I'll just open it and I'll show you it. It's the same bag, but it's in the black colour. So that's it there, in the black. It's it's dead smart. You know, it's it's basic, but it's dead smart. It's exactly the same as the other one. And this is the shop here, where I picked it up from. It, it hasn't got the price on, but it was the same price as the other one. They had lots of different colours. I, I could have bought them all, well, you know, because they were all nice. But um, I stopped myself and I just got these two colours because I think these cover all bases. You know, this colour and this colour cover all bases. So I got this one for when I want to be a bit more casual, you know. Um, my next items were um, these scarves and I bought these back. So it's this, like, lovely, are they super soft, they really are. The um, cashmere scarves, and um, I got three. Is it? Yes, I got three in this colour. These were gifts as well, and um, so I got three. I've already here one over here, and um, I also got it in a black as well. Now it is a cashmere blend, guys. It's not one hundred percent cashmere. It is a cashmere blend, but you know what? It's so. I'll stop rattling the bag. Right, I've just taken one out, and oh. Do you know what? It's so, so soft. It's like, it's like baby skin. You know, it's as soft as baby skin. It really is. 
it's beautiful it just feels really like luxurious and nice um it's quite it's quite thick so you could wear it as a pashmina definitely could it's tasseled at both ends it's lovely it's absolutely lovely definitely could wear it as a pashmina i'll just pop it on actually i'll show you in a clip in a in a picture you know because you'll see it better but you can totally use it as a pashmina or um you know just as a, as a scarf so i think this was i'm not sure how much this was i might have to have a look um maybe oh, i think it was only like 10 euro you know it wasn't a lot my next item um i've got this mind i have to say david bought me some of these things um he did buy me one of the bags and he did buy me um i can't remember now but he did buy me things he bought me this this um ring and it's from capri and it's by simon and i just fell in love with it when i saw it it's lovely can you see it so he bought me this um and i it fits i have to take this one off but it fits on this finger you can't widen it but it fits on there and i just think it's so pretty it's really really pretty and i think i'm just going to pop that one on that finger so i just thought it was really really nice and dear if it said go on go and get it you know i'll get you it so yeah that was really really kind of him so I don't know if you're watching David, but thank you again for that. Um, and it, I, I don't know how much it was, do you know? Um, I'll try and link it though. I don't really want to ask David. He's out working anyway, so I can't ask him at the minute, but um, I might be a bit rude asking. Uh, anyway, moving on. We did. We went in this lovely shop and it was um, this one. It's It's pronounced um sorry de sorrento and the saw the so we went in this shop and it was called um to sorry de sorrento and it was a lovely shop you'll have seen it on them um, or the video if you've watched it but the saw such pretty things in there i'm going to show you what i bought in there and um, there was like lots of sort of lemony things you know and ceramics off oh, the ceramics were beautiful absolutely beautiful i could have I could have spent a lot of money in there, you know, but um, because the, the stuff was just so nice. But I just picked up one ceramic thing. You'll be dead surprised, but I did. I just, I did just pick up one ceramic thing and it was this one. And it's for olive oil. Isn't that gorgeous? It's got the lovely lemons on and the olives. And it's got oil on, you know. Um, But isn't that gorgeous? And I just thought I'd have that on the countertop, like the bench top, rather than getting the big bottle out of the cupboard. You know, I decant some in here and, you know, I just pour it. But isn't that really, really pretty? Absolutely love that. Again, I can't remember how much it was. Um, it doesn't have the price on, does it? I'll try and find out the price and I'll put it on the screen in euro. Um, but that was like my ceramic buy. But, oh my gosh, guys, I honestly could have bought a lot more, you know, because it was all so beautiful. And I've got, like, a love for dinnerware and ceramics. Right, my next item. Do you know what? They wrapped them up, they were in this bubble wrap. She was really, really, you know, helpful and um, thoughtful, you know, because she knew we were travelling back to the UK so she was like wrapping them up the best she could which was you know really really thoughtful and nice of her to do she's wrapped it that good i can't get rid of it ah, i need a child please send a child e, speaking of children our pippin um Pippin is my granddaughter. I sometimes call her Alice. Alice is her name, but um, I call her Pippin. I always have. So if I see Alice or Pippin interchangeably, you know it's the same person. Because <laughs> a few people said, Who, "Who's Pippin?" You know, and who's Alice? Uh, but it's Alice and Pippin's the same same person. But she's so funny, guys. She really is. 
and um, we're, we're taking that to a player group now and um, like down the theatre they run like a player group and um, so she goes there and she loves it she absolutely loves it but um, she was <laughs> Emma Carter she was eating Holly treats now Holly's the dog you know she was eating Holly's treats and Holly little Holly was just looking at her thinking what are you doing them of mine <laughs> <laughs> and then hope that Alice was going to give us some of that one treats. But hey, she's at that age now where she's into everything. You know, she's getting herself about. And um, yeah, she's, she's just into everything. So it's, um, yeah, <laughs> interesting <laughs> to say the least. Getting back to this, we picked up this. And isn't this the cutest kind of style bottle? And it's got like the lemon lemons on. It's it's got lemon cello in, and it's lovely. This um, it's this is a family run business, and um, they make the lemon cello. You know, it's it's like a family recipe, and I can tell you guys, it's amazing. It really is amazing. Um, but that's the bottle, um, and we thought it would go really really nice. Like after we've drunk it, of course like decorative you know it, it looks really decorative i'm going to open one of these and show you these because they go lovely with the bottle again she she like paid attention you know and wrapped them <laughs> now watch clumsy me i'll end up breaking them so we picked up just two of these and it's got sorrento on and the lemon and that and you know, you see things like this in charity shops, don't you, all the time where people has gone on holiday and, um, you know, the, 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 the kind of give them to the charity shop. But, um, I mean, for us, it all's memory, so the, it's not going to go at the charity shop, not just yet, probably, you know, when I'm when I'm gone. <laughs> but it's it's memories for me and dear, but, you know, we can refill this with anything, um, but we'll probably refill it with lemon cello. But this is the, don't they match really nice? So we've got like two two of these. Um, again, I'm not sure of the prices. I'll have to ask David because he bought these. Um, so we got those. We also got this lemoncello. <laughs> As you can see, I've <laughs> been drinking it. <laughs> I couldn't be good. <laughs> but... um. Oh, it's lovely honestly I wish I could tell you it's like yeah if you like lemon cello you know this is one of the really nicest ones I've tried um but yeah we're quite a way down the bottle as you can see <laughs> little tipple you know um but that's it there and this one was 17 euro you can mix this you know with lemonade um or you can drink it just as like on its own me and David just drink it on its own but um, that was that one. We also picked up one of them. I picked up this one. And it's it's not lemon cello. I did pick a lemon cello up. But I've already gave it away. Um, and it was cream. like cr So basically if you can imagine Bailey's. But with a lemon. You know it's like that consistency. A creamy consistency. Absolutely lovely. Because you can't sample it in the shop. And believe me we did. <laughs> But we picked up this one as well, and this is like cork, coconut, and um, I can't remember how much this was. But this keeps, you know, you can keep it in the fridge once it's opened, and, and um, she was saying you can pour it over ice cream and that. Um, I, I used to know somebody who poured drambuie over ice cream. Um, I'm not into whiskey or whiskey liqueurs, but yeah, Drambuie off of ice cream, but that would be nice, I guess, over of ice cream. Um, also I picked up this. This is beautiful. It's um, I bought it for Alice. Now she's already opened it. It they wrapped it up with this lovely light like, lemon paper, isn't it gorgeous? And it was handmade. Um, in the shop. I think you might have seen it in the other video. Um, I do have one of these, but it's a big box. Um, I'll try and insert a picture or something here. And it's a musical box, so I did know about um, this shop. And um, yeah, I wanted to pick Alice a one up, you know, but just like a little one for now. 
and this is it here and it's got owls on which will match our bedroom the woodland theme in our bedroom and all of these it's it's inlaid so it's not a picture these are all wood bits inlaid and david was talking to the you know the owners and um, they were explaining how it's made and everything and look at that inside so i bought alice a cross for a baptism and i thought it would be nice to keep a, a cross in here until she's old enough to wear it and um she can keep a few other like little bits in as well it's just a tiny little jewelry box but look at the shape of it it's absolutely lovely it's highly polished um and it's got at the bottom there at the base who it was made by and where it was made and this is one of a kind there's not another one like it you know which is great and it tells you that it's made out this particular box is made out of rosewood and walnut and it's by Augusto who we met in Luca his son so it's like a family business and it's a f I think it's the fourth generation like Luca his son is the fourth generation to be doing this craft I love family businesses and um, I like supporting family businesses and yeah I do like supporting British businesses but I do like supporting just family run businesses wherever they are you know and, and especially like crafts like this where there's a real skill involved you know and it's handmade this was you it was expensive for the um you know the size of it and things it was 55 euro for this but you know what i'm hoping that alice will pass it down you know to her her child one day um so yeah i like that i thought it was beautiful and and i really wanted to get alice something that she could keep you know moving on we're not going to forget david guys david did well the lemon cello was mainly david's but we did pick david some things up and it, you'll have noticed it, 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 like in the video that he was trying shoes on he did get these from this shop and he was wanting a pair of like Italian handmade leather shoes and this company that's what they do you know it's family run as well um, handmade leather so I'll just show you these again the craftsmanship on these is you know brilliant this is them here they're just a low for shoe but they are really, really well made, you know. That's the inside of them. And this is like the sole of them hand stitched. It's they're a beautiful shoe, David. Really, really liked these. Yeah, he really, really liked these ones. This was the first pair that he tried on. And um yeah, he so he I got him these ones and then he was he was saying, No, sorry, I didn't. Um, it was the other way around. I'll show you these, guys. He did try those on, but then he tried these on as well. Now, I really, really like these brogues. And um, I said to him, they're absolutely beautiful, you know. Really, really. Look at those. I love brogues, you know, for guys. And again, the handmade leather. Um, and that's the sole of them there. And yeah he was um he, he tried both of these on and he was like he could he couldn't decide and he said you choose for me and i said i think you should go with the brogues but then he had these in his head all the holiday so on the last year i said to him come on we'll we'll pop to the shops there's a couple of like little bits that i want to pick up for people and um we went in the shop and i said try them shoes on again and uh he tried them on and i i bought i bought this pair as well for him or, um, yeah, I mean, Dave did pay for the holiday, so, you know, um, so he was absolutely over the moon, bless him, and, um, and you know, well, guys, I think, I think that's it, I think that's all we picked up on holiday, um, obviously, I can't show you the things that's already gone, you know, that, um, but, yeah, I do hope you've enjoyed this video, um, you know, I'm going to leave, like, links to the shops, like, the websites, down below because I did ask in some of the shops whether they shipped internationally because I knew you might want you know to, to purchase and like not everybody can get to Italy you know but that's the good thing isn't it like to hear about you can order anywhere in the world you know as most places ship internationally now so if you particularly like something 
you, you can you can get it you know because I think there's nothing more frustrating that um, when you're watching a haul and you, you you can't get that thing anymore you know I've done it myself and then um, thought oh you can't get it anymore so um but usually you can find something similar if you can't get that I know I like charity shop hauls are the popular you know I do them myself and I oft I used to not do them and think, well, why would anybody want to see a charity shop haul? Because, you know, they won't be able to get the same things. It's like the whole point to me was to tell you, you know, that you, you can get this and this is why you get it. You know, like I would tell a friend if I saw something and I would like phone my friend up and say, oh, I think that's a match for you. You know, it's really, really good. Do you want me to pick your wood up? Um, but yeah, and... But the charity shop holds, I think it just gives you an idea what's in the charity shops, you know, what you can pick up, what bargains you can see and, and find. And for me, I love going in them because it's it's reminiscent in the past, you know, and um, it's like a walk down memory lane for me, uh, which is really, really nice, you know. And uh, I see lots of things in the charity shop, what was in our house, you know, if, when I was growing up, what me, me mum, like my mum and dad had. And uh, it, it just reminds me of them, you know, it brings back like lovely memories uh, of like, you know, growing up in childhood and being at home, you know. And speaking of charity shops as well, I do have a charity shop haul coming up. Um, I'm not sure what video or that'll be, guys, because I've got so much, you know, I've got so much content in my head to deliver. But it's, yeah, it's like filming the content, you know, but... Um, You'll see it as soon as I filmed it, guys. I'll be back on, you know. Um, I hope to see you on Sunday in my next video. Um, what is the next video? Do you know what? I don't know. It's probably a haul, uh, the next video on Sunday. So please, if you can join me for that, that would be fantastic. Um, I just th want to thank you all for joining me today. Taking time out your busy days, you know, to come and spend with me. I really, really do appreciate it. I really appreciate all your support and all your comments. And um, yeah, I just want to say a thank you, guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next one, hopefully. Bye-bye for now. Stay safe, everyone. Bye.